Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new. I am someone that loves to go to multiple Dollar Trees throughout the week so I can show you what is new and what to look out for. I try to give you some DIY ideas and some measurements so you know about how big and small these items are. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, a link down below. And I've always asked you guys if you would like to share a picture of your fur baby or scale baby, you can do so through Instagram. And I've been adding some of those pictures at the end of some of my videos. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased. All right, I'm going to start out with these. Now, when I found these at my favorite Dollar Tree, I just thought that was so like throwback 1980s. They had sizes extra small all the way up to extra large. These are belts. Now, will I wear this belt? Mm, no, but you could use this for a DIY. But since it's like, especially the black and red, this will be perfect for Christmas. Say like maybe a Santa belt or something. You can cut it to the size you need. You can dissect the buckle part and use that on something else. Um, unless you just wanted to use the black for something. So I am not gonna wear the belt, but I just thought that was really cool. Same with this color. And they have so many different colors to choose from. They also had it in the black and white. They had different widths and lengths. Um, this was one of the smaller ones. So this one's the fluorescent pink and black. Kind of looks like leather on the other side. Again, the buckle, which you can take apart. And then the really, really thin one, it was, I got a small for my daughter, but this one's brown. Again, they had so many different colors. They had all these on an end cap. They had hats too, bright colored hats. But I just thought those were really cool. So I wanted to show you those really quick. All right. They are killing it this year with their holiday decor. I think these carrots are by far my favorite carrot they've ever had at the Dollar Tree. These are by Crafter Square. You get two per pack. Now these remind me of like a scrub brush you would use in the kitchen. But it also has... Um, Oh, what's that called? Uh, Raff, not Raff, Raffy? No, not Raffy. Raff, Roth. I don't even remember. I can't even think of the word right now. But I think those are really cute. Now, I suggest to you, if you are going to glue this on, say, a board or picture frame or whatever, the part that you're going to glue down on the board, I would take a pair of scissors and trim the back so it's flat so it will stick better. Otherwise, your carrot's not gonna stick that well to whatever you're gluing to. So just thought I'd throw that in there to maybe help you out a little bit. Um, these carrots, I've already done a DIY. I don't know if that video will come up before this one. Most likely it might, but these are the Crafter Square Carrot Picks. You get two per pack. Now you can take this yarn off. It pulls off really, really easily. It is sticky. Um, but I did recreate a different kind of carrot using these and they turned out fantastic. So I did buy two packs of those. Don't really care for the color. So that's why I ripped it apart. They had four different, um, porcelain. I think that's what they were. I think, uh, car coasters. I went ahead and picked up this rainbow one for my daughter. Now in my car, the cup holder is more of a square. Um, I don't know if that's like a newer model thing. I mean, what year is my car? I don't even know. I think it's like a 2020, maybe 2021. I don't even know what, I think it's a 2020. But anyway, I'll, I got that for my daughter. I guess I could open it up. They have these up by the register. And I'm pretty sure it said porcelain. I think that's what it said on their website. <laughs> I gotta dissect this teeny tiny piece of card. There we go. See? It's plain on that side. So if you want to do something else, you can do something else. But I thought the rainbow was really cute. Their bunnies. I bought the white one last year. And I think it's really cute that they came out with this chocolate bunny. Um, 
or not chocolate, I guess you can just say brown. I think these are about 18, 19 inches tall. They do have a beanie butt. Now you can always customize these, put a little um, collar on it if you want, or a little handkerchief. Um, you could put grandkids' names, uh, family names, dog names, whatever, or different sayings on these as well. And then of course I had to get her relatives and that is these gnomes. Beanie Butts as well. You have the blue, purple, and pink. They have different colored hats and designs, I guess. Like this one has really thin lines. This one has lines and squigglies. And this one has polka dots. So I think those are really, really cute. I've only found those twice so far. And there's solar lights. Now, I think they had this size last year. And these are really cool to dissect and put them in a jar, do different things. Um, the stick comes out from the top there, so you put it down in the ground. Well, let me demonstrate it for you for those that don't know. That go down into the ground like that. Or you can put them in planters. Pull the tag and then they'll light up outside. But now this year, look at the size of that one. Now that is a huge fat light. Oh, see, just like that. Take that out and you could just use that for something if you want. Or you can use this and put it on a different kind of jar. I don't know. Let me see what kind of jar this is. No, that's too, too big. Do we have a jar up here? Trying on but that would look kind of dumb. But, but I don't know, you can do, ooh, where'd my, there we go. But you can do different things with these. So don't think that you have to put them out in your yard because you don't have to. A lot of people have done so many different DIYs. Um, you can always go on TikTok, you go on Pinterest, you can go on Instagram and you'll see hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of people recreating different things using these items from the Dollar Tree. Um, these. Um, when I found these at my Dollar Tree, I'm like, um, what would you make with these? And a lot of you had a lot of great ideas. These are the floral stems, I guess. Floral foam stem. It's a 0.9 inch by 12 inch. And they're hard. Now you can do an X, you can do a cross, you can do a T, you can do a V, I don't know what else. You can maybe glue some of these together like that, make one big long rod. I don't know. I still don't know exactly what I will make with these, but I thought I would buy them and I'll figure something out. I will, give me time. Look at this. Although it expires fairly soon, but I mainly got it for the jar. This is avocado hot sauce. It's a 12 ounce bottle made in Mexico, but this thing is glass. But how cool is that jar? That's another thing you guys, oh my gosh, I didn't do my hair today. Um, that's another thing you guys really need to keep an eye out when you're at your Dollar Tree. In the food area, look at the shape of the glass jars and say, well, I don't like hot sauce or I don't like that kind of I don't know, salad dressing or whatever. That's all right. If you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. Dump it down the drain, donate it or whatever, and but say, I want my jar back. And you can recreate something else with this kind of jar. Love, love, love the size. Again, this is 12 ounces. It is glass. And I love the cap as well. So yeah, my husband will eat this, although it did expire here in May. May. Always check your date on your food. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed some of this. I wanted to see how soft it was. This is Clay Dino World. Create your own dinos. It's ages three and up. You get five colors and some googly eyes. And you have the doggy one as well. You get five colors and the googly eyes. There's pictures there on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and rip one of these open. I'm just gonna take a look and I don't know why they're, oh my, that looks 
That looks messy. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea. Why is it full of air? I think this is going to explode on me. I really do. I think this... I mean, look in there. Are you kidding me? It looks like whipped cream. It's a trap. It's a trap. It is a trap. I'm going to pop it and it's going to spray. Oh, oh, it's gooing out. See? Okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's like a little straw. It doesn't have any scent to it. it looks like gum. Oh, look. It's like a banana. Ew. It's a zit. Ew, it's got bumps. Oh, it's a bumpy zit. Well, that's kind of... It's actually kind of cool. It's like... Hear it? It's like... It feels like air. Wow, that's some really cool stuff. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I was petrified of you. I'm going to squeeze it again. It's, it's the little things. It's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Did it say if it dries out? Hmm. Confirm that. It does not say if it dries out or not. Do not ingest. So for those that like to eat clay, this doesn't really feel like clay. So that sounds real. That's what it reminds me of. I think I just spit. Um. You know that funky spray, what's it, that foam spray stuff that people spray like at a shower or a uh, wedding or something? That's what it feels like when you bunch it up in a ball. That's what it feels like. That is so cool. Oh, gosh. You're 46, Jenny. Stop playing with that. Put that down there. So, yeah, that's me. I like that. All right. Oh. Can't forget the brown one. Um, by the Crafter Square, they have the Moss Bunnies again this year. I think last year they had a couple of different sizes, but so far I've only been able to find one pack, which includes three bunnies. Let me those suckers out. They are foam. And there they are. How adorable is that? Hello, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So yeah. I think those are really cute. Those would be cute for DIYs. And they had, uh, I think, four different ones of these pails. I picked up the one that has, you know, it's holding the sign. It says Egg Hunt. And it says Happy Easter. It does have the gnome on both sides. You could put some fake carrots in there, fake eggs, a little bunny coming out of there, some grass or whatever. You can even have some of the foam bunnies coming out. But these are really cute to sit around like on little shelves. You know, something like this. And if you noticed in a lot of my videos, I've been, I usually try to change this up before I do each video. So it's something different. So it's not the same thing over and over and over again. Um, this stuff came from Target. And I can't remember where I got that. But that Target, 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 Target. Yeah. I like Target. Although I haven't been going there as much. So I'm proud of myself. Um... My daughters were begging me to find this at the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, my hair is so ratty and nasty. It's the Method Body Wash. I forgot to give this to my other daughter. Darn it. I gave one of them. Um, but this is the Simply Nourish Body Wash. It is a 3.4 ounce. It's coconut and rice milk. Is that what it said? Yeah, rice milk. I don't know. I was, I was only able to find two, so I bought two. Uh, I thought it was cool that they came out with some more of these water beads. I hauled the clear ones, but now you get a multi-pack. You get pink, purple, and blue. These are designed by Simple Style Flora Craft Value Pack, the water beads. Uh, it makes four and a half quarts. Just add water. So you can use these for any vase fillers or 
I don't know if you have a little Barbie pool if you wanted to fill up with these. Well, I bet that'd be something fun for your little one to play Barbie and have these all over your house for a couple of years. Uh, they came out with a new color of this red heart sizzle, 100% nylon. You get 100 yards. So I have like a white cream color and now they have fluorescent pink. Yes, fluorescent pink. 1980s, baby. Um, I found another color of the Martha Stewart multi-surface satin or acrylic craft paint. It's a two ounce bottle. I found a yellow a few weeks ago and now I found this beautiful blue. I've already used the yellow one on a piece of wood and it, it covered it really nice. I mean, it's nothing too exciting, but it has a cap on it. I don't want to take that all off, but yeah, Martha Stewart. I mean, I don't know if that's a great deal. Is that $1.25 for Martha Stewart? The whip. I know. Uh, they came out with some new um, canvas. So I picked up a couple of this size. I really like this one. It says Hotel Paris. Now these are always nice if you wanted to cut this off of the wood um, backing right here. You can Mod Podge it onto something else. You could put it around a flower vase. You can put it on a piece of glass and do something different so you don't keep it like this. And then I thought this one was really, really cool. This is um, soy seahorse. I cannot talk. Uh, seahorse. So these are my special moments. And then the other one I picked up, I thought this one was really cool. I like the colors. This I think is an eight by 10, this one is. So I think those colors are really cool. And a few other items. Let's see, I'll get that in a minute. But they have three different ones of these. I'm gonna dissect it or I might give it to my daughter and let her decide what she wants to do with it. But it says plant one on me. She loves plants. She knows everything about plants. But this one has that on the top and then you have flowers and a watering can, actually two. And again, you can always take this apart. You can repaint it and do your own thing. Uh, glue it onto something else and make your own art. Picked up that. I think these are absolutely adorable. They had two different ones. And again, these are made super duper nice, have really nice weight to it. And this is this Easter sign. It says fresh carrots, locally grown, 25 cents each, cotton till, flowers 100% organic. They do have like these push pins right here. So look how cute that is in the shape of a cutting board. And then the other one is Cottontail and Company Egg Farm, Hippity Hoppity Lane, One Mile Head, Egg Hunts Daily. I think those are absolutely adorable. Again, if you don't like it, go ahead, spray paint it, do your own thing. They had a few different ones of these, but this is the one that I liked. It says Hippity Hop Carrot Pad, 25 cents, organic, locally grown. And it does have the twine to hang it if you want. This is burlap in the very back here. So I love the colors. And they have a new size frame. This is a seven by seven. They have it in black and white. I am doing something with this. They do come apart really, really easy. You can do a lot of fun stuff with these. Again, I'm making a lot of DIYs. So I picked up a couple of those. And then the last frame, I thought this was really cool. It's an eight by 10. For those that like bees or to decorate with a bee theme, this frame would be perfect. They do have it in, let's say, the 8x10, and they have a 5x7, and I think they have a 4x6. But you could do a really cute picture of a bee of some sort in here, and you can see how it looks like the beehive, like little, you know what I mean. So, yeah, they are plastic, but I thought that was really cool. And two more items. I have a Wet and Wild Tame and Define Clear Gel Formula for it lifts and separates lashes, grooms, and sets brows. I thought that was very, very interesting. Yes. So I'm going to rip this open and take a glance at it. Hey, maybe. Come on. Let's see here. 
doesn't have much of a smell. And I'm not supposed to pop. Oh, look at all the bubbles. How cool. I know you're not supposed to. Don't pump the math camera. Hmm. Nothing too exciting. Mm -hmm. Give it to my daughter. And the last item, I went ahead and picked up some of these Easter eggs. They are ages three and up. You get four per pack. What I really like about these, because I bought some others similar to this, but I think these would paint up really, really well if you used like a chalk paint because I love uh, the grooves. Look at how cool that is. Let me take, oh, don't break. Oh, there we go. But I think those are really cool. And you get four different colors. So I thought those were pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to paint them and see how they look and do something with them. But why is it, I take them apart and I can never get them to click back. Is that supposed to click? Maybe not, I don't know. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you really enjoyed this video or if you're new to the Dollar Tree and you want to learn more about it and what kind of stuff they carry, then I'd love for you to hit that like button and subscribe button. And again, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link it down below. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.